I play Kate Lloyd in the film. She is a young paleontologist who's kind of starting out on her career and gets an offer to come work with this renowned scientist um, and go to a trip to Antarctica and uh, locate this fossilized specimen. And so she's really excited and honored to, you know, to go up there. And then once she gets there, she finds that it's a bit of a can of worms that she wasn't expecting get it, to get involved in, and, and all hell breaks loose. The team of Norwegians and also the Americans that come into it, when they find this alien frozen in the ice, it's initially extremely exciting, and their first thought is, we're going to be rich and famous, we've, we've found an alien, you know, this is, this is unbelievable. And... The scientist, Sander, who's kind of heading up the whole expedition, decides he wants to drill into it and, and perform some tests on it. And, um, you know, my character, Kate, is a little bit like, it seems a little illogical, it seems a little impulsive, you know, like, you know, we should really go about this in the proper way and get it to a you know, environment that, that could better handle this situation. But um, he's, a little, he's a little bit greedy and anxious, and um, so once they do that, it's out and it breaks free and um, it basically starts taking over the bodies of the people at this base and gets to the point where nobody knows who's human and, and who's an alien or a thing. And it just sort of, it's like this mistrust and this paranoia that starts creeping through all of the people and all the minds of the people at, at this base and everybody starts losing it a little bit. And, and it's kind of the, the people of strongest will and strongest mind are the ones who can kind of last the longest, but it's, it's, it's a pretty crazy ride. It's one of those sort of universal themes of, you know, who can we trust and what happens when we lose all of our trust in someone or we can't trust anyone around us and how does that affect us and, and you know, what will we do if, if that happens and what kind of chaos, you know, can permeate in that kind of situation. So it's definitely a scary thing when, you know, you, you feel that someone is someone you can't trust. And even if, they're, even if you're wrong, you know, you can drive yourself crazy that way. And so <laughs> that's sort of what happens in the film is, is you know, you never know who, who is or who isn't. But no matter what, you know, people are going to die, basically. And it's, it's going to be a, you know, horrific, horrific thing. No one is safe. I mean, this this thing is is dreadful and scary, and it seems impossible to to escape. Um, so you do. There is that that feeling of like, how the how the hell are they gonna <laughs> how the hell are they gonna survive this? And so it's it's definitely keeps you on the edge of your edge of your seat. The original is an all-male cast, which is a really interesting thing, and it was really cool, you know, to see a film that has an all-male cast, but I think that we really want to set ourselves apart from that. You know, this isn't a remake. It is a real prequel, and it is about completely different characters and, and you know, completely different people in the same situation. And so, to me, having a female lead kind of immediately says, this isn't a remake, you know, we're doing something different, and we're bringing in this different dynamic. The fact that it's a Norwegian base, I think, for my character as well as the other American uh, characters, it sort of adds to the whole paranoia of it because they're saying things you don't understand and they're talking to each other and you don't know if they're forming some sort of alliance against you and, and it sort of it really builds up that tension.